Hi everybody, welcome back to the Nada family. If you are new here, welcome, and if you're returning, hey family, for those of you that are new here to my channel, my name is Misty Autumn, and if you haven't had a chance to join our family, go ahead and smash the subscription and the notification bell, that way you can be notified of when we upload new videos. And guys, as always, if you could do me that huge favor and like this video on your way in or your way out, it does push us out into the YouTube universe. With that being said, thank you so much. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I just want to say thank you so much for all the kind comments on my last video. If you guys stick around to the end, I kind of let you guys know that my Dollar Tree hauls are not going to be these gigantic, humongous, massive hauls anymore. I did a huge purge and I realized I was getting more projects than I was doing. I was spending money that didn't need to be spent. And if I don't need it, it could be out there on the Dollar Tree shelves for other people to find. So I'm only picking up things that I know that I'm absolutely going to use, even though they had so many awesome new Christmas things. I just picked out what I knew I wanted. So let's get started. I will show you guys what I picked up. They finally had the holiday material. I was so excited for this material. They only had these four left, and these are the ones I wanted. I love the red truck so much, and I love the color of the background of this material. I like how it's dark. It just shows the bright white and the red and the green so beautifully, and this is going to make a very nice pillow for my couch. So I picked up two of those. And the gnomes, oh, they're so sweet. If you guys have been following me, you know I absolutely love gnomes, and I, I like how they look like they have little pajamas on. If I could have found more of these, I would have picked up more because I could have made an apron, which would have been so awesome. But I'm happy with the couple that I found. I did only pick up two pairs of socks. Guys, you know I'm addicted to the holiday socks. I love all the seasonal socks. And I tend to buy, you know, majority of what they put out. I was good today. I only picked up one. And it's the gnomes. They are so adorable. I opened them up because I thought I picked up a kid's pair, but it's not. These are going to work out just fine. And then they had gold toe. I remember seeing gold toe at Costco before, so you know it's gonna cost more than a dollar for you know one pair of them. And I know the price tag says, oh, it doesn't have the price tag. I think the one that I saw was $8, but I didn't pick it up. It was like a blue color. But look at the colors of these socks. I love burnt orange. It's one of my favorite colors. And we're still in fall, even though we're buying Christmas ornaments. But I picked that up. That's going to be awesome to have during the season. I did pick up one of these silicone rubber like sponges. I use these to clean my makeup brushes and it works just fine. And I like that it's double sided. I've never tried to use it on my dishes before, but it works as a makeup brush cleaner. Also in that department, I picked up another mop head. I need to make a new gnome. I have some beautiful material that I got in Fred Mill. And it's awesome. I cannot wait to make a gnome with that material. So I've always used them for that. I've never used these to actually mop. So if you guys have used them to mop, let me know down below if they work. I might pick one up to try out. Then they had the snowman. I did a lot of cut files for my Cricut and I found a beautiful snowman quote and I thought it would be just perfect to put on here. So I just picked up this cute little you know, snowman cut out. All right, these were so awesome. Now these are gift card holders. Am I gonna use them for gift cards? No, but they would be cute as a gift card holder too. You can hang these from your tree, put them on your reefs, put them on your tier trade. You can put them on your Christmas packages, put a little special notes on them. There's so many things you could do with these and they're so cute. My color scheme is the red buffalo check. I cannot wait to share with you guys. I didn't get to share Halloween with you guys cause I just, it wasn't my month. It really wasn't. So I'm hoping the holidays further on are gonna be more happier, I guess, for me, but that's another story. Anyways, these guys are really, really cute. And then look at the stockings. Okay, so funny story. We have beautiful stockings for the family, but I like to get stockings for the um, pets, and I have two cats. Moni got a stocking last year, but I couldn't find one for Sol this year that would match hers. And when I saw these cute gnome ones, they were perfect because Sol, as you guys know, is gray and white. So this is going to be so sweet for him. I love the sweater print on both of them. And the red one is for Moni, so that is for my kitty cats. Do you guys do stockings for your animals too? Let me know. I have always done it for them. So for the plates for the cookies for Santa, they had a couple different uh, prints. I think there's like a snowman and a Santa. I'm not sure, don't quote me. But this one is pretty and I'm not sure if it was from last year or not. I'd have to go in my Christmas box and look because I did get last year's, but I think it's different. I think this one has more 
um, detail to it. So I picked that guy up and along with it, aren't these adorable? I'm sure these have been out for a million years, but my store finally had them in and they're just a little milk glass. And I just think that is so adorable for, you know, Santa with the, the cookies. So I am making two more holiday wreaths. I'm going to be retiring, retiring my older ones. And so this will go with the gnome wreath that I'm doing. And then I did pick up the bamboo uh, wreath form because I love how rustic, rustic this looks. And I'm going to be making a more of a primitive holiday wreath with this one. So that was that. And then I did need a new round one for my gnome wreath. So we picked that up. And the gnome wreath is going to have the black and red uh, buffalo check. And then I was so happy. This has been on my wish list for a minute now. I've seen everybody picking these up. And it's the gnome ribbon. Oh my goodness, look at him. So I did pick up two of those for the gnome wreath. These guys were sitting all by themselves. I don't know if they had more because it wasn't even in the right section. This was like in the tool section. I looked in the holiday section, didn't see any more. But look at these little miniature spatulas. It has it says, have a cozy, cozy Christmas. And then the gingerbread guy. I'm sure there's more prints out there. This was the only one I found, but it is so adorable. I did pick up two of the hanging gnome ornaments and they're skiing. Look at the little skis and the ski poles. And I love his hat, which is the red, the gray, and the white. And then they had more of the traditional red and green guy, but they're so cute. They're on skis. Red truck. I had to pick it up. It is adorable. I like the fact that it's already painted so I don't have to worry about painting it. The only thing is it is tough to turn on. You have to use like little needle nose pliers or something, but I had a hard time with my nails turning it on. They had one little lonesome guy and he's damaged, but the kids, their tree is white and they're going to do blue ornaments on it this year. So he's gonna look really cute next to their little mini tree. I know there's a red one and a green one out there. I was really hoping to find those, but I'm glad that I found one for the kids. Uh, three, four more things here. Then they have these lanterns and they do light up. I don't know if you will be able to see it when I turn it on, if I can get it on, but they do light up. They have the flickering effect. They are so pretty and it has the deer. These are good size because the ones they usually have are tiny. And these ones are really good. And they also have a Christmas tree. Now, I don't know if they have any other colors or any other designs. These were the only two that I found at the store that I went to. And then my cats have little toys all over the place. And I try to put little baskets out for them to keep their little um, yarn balls and things like that. In. And I just thought this sled was so cute. Or is it a sleigh or a sled? Let me know. It's really cute. So it's going to hold their little toys perfectly. For the primitive reef that I'm doing, these are the foliage for it, just the pine cones and the berries. I love how that looks. And I have a couple more things and I will be done, guys, I promise. Non-Christmas items. I did come across this Olive Garden garlic and herb seasoning. Who does not love the Olive Garden seasoning on their bread? It is so good. So we are going to try to replicate their breadsticks and salad and this is gonna be perfect for that. So I picked up three of them. And let's see, when is the expiration date? I know some of you guys at 2026. So you got some shelf life on that. I needed a new two cup measuring cup. And I like the fact that it doesn't, it's engraved on. The last one I picked up just had the like red markings and they wiped off. So this is a better choice. It's a little bit more, it's not as durable as the other one. So we'll have to be careful not to drop this, but that is for some upcoming uh holiday baking that we're going to be doing plenty of so that was my dollar tree haul guys i know it's not a lot but i was so happy with everything that i found um if you guys are finding anything different or things that i haven't seen yet let me know what you're finding out there so if you like these kind of videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos and as always family don't forget to be kind inspire be inspired and i will see you soon with another video bye guys